Basketball is like my therapy. Going by the water. Wherever it's nice where the sun is at. See you slipping. All right, no, okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, so I'll try to be like that. <laughs> so, Leute, herzlich willkommen im Höpfner Brauhof Karlsruhe. Nicht direkt aus der Blue Bubble, sondern hier in der großen, geselligen Stupe. Es äh, sieht echt wirklich cool aus und äh, ich habe mir sagen lassen, hier wird komplett alles neu renoviert. Also ihr dürft da echt gespannt sein. Und zu meiner Seite natürlich den Kerl, den wir alle vermisst haben. KC, KC, welcome back. Nice to have you here. So, we will start with uh, fan questions. There are a lot of crazy questions. Why? Did you decide to sign again in Karlsruhe and what is your assessment for the season? Will the Lions reach the playoffs? Will we start hard here? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I just thought uh, when I got the call, I just thought it was a great opportunity to come back, especially with uh, me not being able to finish last year. So I, th I just felt like it was a great opportunity and you know, I enjoyed my time here, even though it was, what, three months. So. I just wanted to come back and try to help. If we make the playoffs, that's the goal. So uh, we just got to take it day by day, game by game. And hopefully we will make the playoffs, but you know, we have to see. So. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. So one uh, personal question. Was it a tough decision at this time uh, last year not to come back to Karlsruhe? Yeah, it was a tough decision because um, I love playing basketball, and um, at the end of the day, uh, basketball was like my therapy. But I mean, I knew I had a situation at home, and I had to be there. So uh, once I found out the seriousness of it, um, it was pretty much a no-brainer as far as me going back. So mm -hmm. now back to the lines. Uh, you practiced once with the with the new guys, and what was your first impression? Yeah, today was my first practice, and. It went good, man. Uh, just got just trying to learn to feel with everybody and um, just figure out everybody's strengths and where they like the ball and and just you know trying to be the best teammate I can be. And I think we'll all gel good together and uh, hopefully we can just turn things around and get on winning streak. So. And what was this feeling being back on the court? Now you know, Ray, I'm playing basketball again, professional organized basketball. How was it feeling? Yeah, it feels good, man. Uh, it feels great to be back on the court, just, you know, organized and just get it back to competing and being around teammates. So that's the biggest thing that um, you miss out when you're sitting out as long as I've been. So uh, I think it's good and I think I've prepared well. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. So. And what everybody want to know, what did Casey do during the pandemic? Is he in shape? Are there new hobbies? So tell us. What did I do, man? I had a lot of time, man. It was the first time I've been back for a lot of holidays, and um, I just had a birthday, too. So uh, I pretty much just spent a lot of time with family. Uh, a lot of stuff was closed as well, so uh, didn't really do too much. I played, I mean, I worked out pretty much every day, so I'm in, I'm in shape, and um, hopefully I, I can have a better season than what I did last year. You know, that's the goal, but... Um, Yeah, I was in the gym all the time, pretty much. So when I wasn't with family, I was in the gym. Any new hobbies? Uh, I don't have any new hobbies. Uh, just I played some new games and stuff like that, but nothing really, uh, not any new hobbies yet. So. All right, all right. Oh, there's another fan question. Uh, what was your favorite TV show during the pandemic? Have you watched Netflix a lot? Okay, I watch a lot of TV shows. Um, I watched uh, The Shy, um, watching a TV show called All American. I don't know if it's my favorite. My favorite TV show is Martin, so I'm always watching Martin, but uh, I watch a lot of TV shows. So. And uh, another fan question. What are you looking for the most after the corona pandemic? What, what comes in your mind? In here, like in Germany no, or in... Ah, oh, man, the first thing is being able to travel, man. And, Uh, I came here for, what, the flight was eight hours, so I'll be happy to take off the mask. I got it off right now, but that's what I'm looking forward to, being able to take off the mask and um, just being able to travel and just pretty much go wherever you want to without really having to, having to worry about, you know, if, what's going on, worrying about, you know, 
far, far as their procedure is going on and stuff like that. So yeah, is there a, a destiny, something you want to go for sure after the pandemic? I mean, I'm going by the water, wherever it's nice, where the sun is at. At the, yeah. at the beach. Yeah, at the beach. I'll be at the beach somewhere. That's for sure. So. <laughs> All right, I feel you. Another fan question: Where did you grow up, and how or where did you improve your basketball skills? I grew up in Dallas, Texas. Um, yeah, I pretty much learned basketball there. Uh, maybe about the second, third grade, and my dad taught me, and just I picked on, I picked it up pretty fast. So I just was practicing. My dad had a lot of teams, so I was just always in the gym all the time and watching NBA and playing uh, PlayStation and stuff. So I, I just picked it up a little different ways. So uh, topic NBA. We all know you are a big Lakers fan, so congratulations to the championship. And will the Lakers win the championship again? And what do you know about Dennis Schroeder, our German guy? Ah, uh, Dennis Schroeder. Uh, I know who he is. I watched his game a lot, especially when he was in Atlanta. And then uh, this past season when he was in Oklahoma City. Uh, so I'm a big fan of uh, Dennis. And uh, I, I don't know, it's tough to say. I think the Lakers will win it, but you know, it's a long season and Brooklyn just loaded up and it's a lot of more talent this year. So it's always tough to win it back to back, but we'll see what happens. So. All right, all right, we will see. Oh, another fan question is, in which number will you appear this season? Do you know that? Yeah. Uh, Somebody already has my number 10, somebody already has my number 12, so I decided to go with 11, which is in between, so. 11 was yeah. my number, that's a good decision. All right, yeah, so I'll try to be like. Yeah. <laughs> But why 11? Is there a history or just? Uh, no, ain't no, it's not a history, it's just the closest number to 10 and 12, so I've, only, I've always played with uh, 12 and number 10, so. Um, I just thought it, was, it looks cool. So. All right, all right, I see. So, last and maybe the most important question. Is pepperoni pizza still your favorite food? Yes, definitely. Pepperoni pizza is my favorite. That's, I made sure before I left the States, I went to my favorite spot and I got me a big old piece of pepperoni. So, yeah, <laughs> pepperoni is still my favorite. Yeah. All right, all right. And did you miss something when you were in the States uh, from Germany? Is there something special you say, hey, only this is like in Germany, Karlsruhe, you can get? Uh, some of the... Um, uh, see you slipping. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> well, y'all do have a, a, a good juice here that's not in the States. So like some of the uh, fruit juices and the fruit as well is probably some of the best fruit I've had. So I've always was talking about, man, Germany got the best fruit, best watermelon, best grapes and stuff like that. So uh, that's something I'm looking forward to getting maybe today. All right, all right, man, sounds good. Okay, nice to have you here. Um, do you want to anything, say something to the fans as a message or something? Um, well, I'm just excited to be here and um, just thankful for this opportunity and I'm just gonna come in and work hard, uh, do what I can to help the team win. And it's unfortunate that they're not able to be at the games, but uh, we'll try to make them proud online, so. All right. And thank you so much. Take care and yes. Und wir sehen uns spätestens im Livestream wieder. Ciao, ciao.